I want to welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight we're going to talk about Charles Barkley's backlash about the statements he made about Kobe Bryant. It's not a hero. And we all know that he had a flaw in his character because what happened in Chicago. This bald-headed coon negro goes after Kobe Bryant. He's been buried. His wife is still mourning. And he's got the nerve to talk about a flaw in the case that was dismissed. How dare Charles Barkley speak those words? How dare he side with the feminists in this country? How dare he side with the black boule? This ignorant Negro gets on TV and destroys Kobe Bryant's character and his legacy. There is nothing complicated about his legacy. He did nothing wrong. See, we have gotten to the point to whenever you're charged or whenever someone accuses you of something, now your legacy is destroyed. What I smell from Charles Barkley is jealousy. Jealousy that he'll never have the recognition that Kobe Bryant has received from around the world. But what man, what black man, attacks another black man who you know the case was dismissed? You know the questions about this woman who had five different sets of semen in her underwear. We knew that the prosecution could win the case. So they dismissed the charges and Kobe, like so many other people, settled out of court so she could just go away. He did not admit to guilt at all. But this Negro right here, and this is the problem with our community, and I'm glad that these Negroes are being smoked out. Charles Barkley is the enemy of the state, and we have so many of them. Gail King, Oprah Winfrey, Charles Barkley, Mark Mark Hill. Who will betray us at a drop of a dime inside with white supremacy? This is painful to watch. This is a young man that Charles Barkley has known since he's been 18 years old. Everybody knows Kobe Bryant's character. And they're making him to seem like he was a sexual predator. And he was not. This is obscene. And Charles Barkley should be fired from TNT. I don't want to hear this Negro no more. I'm tired of these people. It goes on and on. And see, my problem is... You see all these buck dancing coons side with white supremacy. And we gonna have to deal with these people. If we don't deal with the Charles Barkley and the Gail Kings and the Oprah Winfrey, every time we take a step forward, they gonna push two steps back. How could he do this? And people should be calling TNT right now and say, when are y'all going to get rid of him? We all know about Colorado. His damn daughters is listening to this. You got a daughter, Charles Barkley. He had a flaw. He didn't have a flaw. Why would you come out? The best thing sometimes is to keep your mouth shut. But this is how Charles Barkley really feels. And the only time this Negro steps out and say something is when they ask him a question about black people. Like, is he, you gonna get some intelligent thought from Charles Barkley. Who the hell is Charles Barkley? Kobe Bryant did nothing wrong. And we got to stand by his family. 
because only thing Vanessa Bryant got to hold on is them children and her husband's legacy. Once they destroy his legacy in his name, it's destroyed forever. And Charles Barkley is contributing to what is going on right now. Black men, we have to learn to stick together. And when a case is dismissed and a man is found out guilty, we must accept the verdict. We don't listen to other people tell us that something is wrong with a man when his case has been dismissed. In this clown right here, Charles Barkley, I don't want to hear nothing from him again. This is embarrassing. To say this on TNT, to get people outraged again. So he want to be the male Gail King. Jason Whitlock. No, you ain't coming back from this, Charles. Once you cross that line, ain't no coming back now. Now you fighting against the community. When you go after this man, no black man in America had, can, can protect his legacy if Kobe Bryant were $500 million and his wife can't protect it. When you got clowns like this side with the white supremacist. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and share this video.